Hey y'all, what's good? What's goody? What's what's poppin? <laughs> So I'm back today with a different type of video. A lot of you have been asking me in my DMs on Instagram what my favorite products are. So I have my collection laying right, sitting right there, okay? We're gonna start off with one of my favorite products, my go-to product. My go-to product is Baskin Bloom. Um, I've been using them, that was my first product that I used that worked really good for my twist outs. If I need my hair to look good when I go out, and it, my hair has to be popping, and I know that no way it will be a fail, that's what I use. My fave is there is Ease Leave-In Silk Caster Twisting Cream. Very, very good for my kinky girls with um, type four hair, low porosity hair, even high porosity hair. It keeps that moisture locked in. There's Silky Aloe Pudding, I have ran out so I can't show you that one. And then the Twirly Gel. If I want a bomb braid out, I mix this with their Mango Twisting Cream, bomb. No ifs, ands, and buts around it. It's bomb. TGIN, their Repair RX line. I'm actually doing a giveaway on Instagram right now with this whole line. The whole line from the shampoo all the way to the styling products, which is the curl food and the serum, is bomb, okay? Your twist outs will be bomb. Look right up there, Those. that's my mini twist. I did a twist out with this product as well, Elodia Hair Care. Um, I did a wash and go with their products, but this product is what I used for a tweet out. And it was bomb, it was bomb, okay? So I like their Curl Enhancing Buttercream Marshmallow Vitamin E Kapuka Butter. That's what's in this. This is a great product to use when you want definition, moisture, and longevity as well. Um, it's another small brand that um, I just heard about this year. Melanin Hair Care, Whitney Natural 85 came out with this. My twist outs be bomb, my braid outs be bomb. She came out with a leave-in conditioner as well and a, um, a multi-purpose oil which I use for this. I um, actually use to you know fluff my hair with this. This is only day two hair. Um, sleeping, I was knocked out. I was sleeping, I was dead sleep, like TKO, maybe six feet under sleep about Riogeo. Like, I never knew that their products was this great. Their styling products is bomb. This cream gives you hold and moisture, will have your hair popping, and I don't know if it's because it was sold in Sephora, it's a black owned brand as well, and I didn't even know that. So um, it, it's, a, it's a good product, but it's kind of, it's kind of pricey. Like it's like really pricey. And to be honest with you, they sent it to me. So I don't know if I would have ever tried Briogeo because I'm a little bit frugal. Or some people may say cheap, but when it comes to like um, products, I won't try expensive products like that unless they have a really good sale because I have four children. For children for a year since last year. I did a flexi rod set. It was a sponsored post. I just recently did a flexi rod and braid out with them sponsored post last month. But we use it all the time. I use their leave-in that I just tried this year. I use it on the girls and I use it on my hair. And I love their burdock root because it's not this bird, you know, the burdock root. I like because it's lighter weight. She has an Amla heavy oil too for my girls with type 4C hair that's low porosity that cannot hold any moisture. It is bomb for your hair. Did you hear me? It is bomb for your hair. This is another pricey item that sold at Sephora, but it's a black owned brand and their products are amazing. It has Ayurvedic herbs in it, just like my girls at Baskin Bloom and just like my girls at Elodia Hair Care. And I love products that have eaten like bomb ingredients, top notch ingredients. That's why they're pricey because their ingredients will have your hair looking fly all seven days of the week, okay? am in love with this shampoo. It started off as a sponsored post and your girl went out and bought another bottle. Goes to my girl's Carol daughter. Uh, they had me shook. Um, it is a great clarifying and moisturizing shampoo 
from Carol's Daughter and um, it's amazing. I love the nozzle, that's what really makes me love it. A little goes a long way. Another product that I really, 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 really liked was African Pride Miracle Flaxseed Oil and Shea Butter. If you go to my previous video where I did a flexi rod set with them, um, I, it was a bomb flexi rod set. The only thing I did have a problem with was that my hair was not moisturized throughout the couple of days that I used it. So I pair, I make sure to pair this. You have to make sure to pair this with a really, really hydrating leave-in conditioner. But this is the leave-in conditioner from Eden Body Works, their papaya and castor line. And I use this bad boy and combined it with my favorite eco style olive oil gel that I use for my wash and goes. I combined it and I got this bomb ass wash and go. So this is a great leave in to pair with eco style gel for my girls who have that like to do wash and goes that want to try wash and goes. Those who say that eco style gives them build up. You just gotta find the right combinations, and I have found a couple of combinations that work great for my hair. There's no residue, there's no flakes, there's no buildup, and it's soft and it's feeling great, and it's gonna last seven days. It's gonna last seven days. So right now, these are my favorite go-to products when I'm not doing a sponsored campaign on Instagram. These are the products that I may go to to style my hair on a regular day, okay? Um, I will be doing an updated video after I try out some more brands. Recently, I have purchased um, a new collection from The Main Crush. It's a small brand on Instagram. Make sure you drop them below. Make sure that you like and subscribe and tell all your friends about this uh, new family. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.